Bonjour French Geek ladies, today I will review a parcel from Sephora. So I have a few products I wanted to show you. If you are new to my channel, a big welcome to you. Please subscribe to my channel, click on that little bell in order to receive the video notifications. And of course, if you enjoy this video, please share it to your many friends. Thank you. So our video today is a review of a number of products that I bought from Sephora uh, in France. And we have the Clarins Eau Dynamisante. I'm going to review for you. We also have Benefit Pencil, eyebrow pencil from Benefit. This one is a goof proof bra pencil. We also have um, a lip pencil from MAC and also my Russian red matte lipstick from MAC as well. So in this video, I will show you the product, how I use them and how they look on my skin and also what I think of them and if I recommend them. All the links to these products will be under this video and please comment uh, as you go about the products, if you like them, if you know them, if you're thinking of getting them for you or if you have been looking for these kind of products. So let's try first the MAC lipstick. As you know, I use Russian red, so I ordered a big Russian red because I had the mini one to try it. So I need the, the, the large one, so I bought this and also bought, they do not have in MAC range, they do not have the Russian red pencil. I use um, lip pencil, so I bought and they recommend a basic red. So this one would go with a number of red. So this one is basic red chromographic, chromographic pencil, crayon multi-usage. So this is the color here. So what I do is I put, I'm going to do a demonstration, that is why I haven't got any lipstick on. So I just draw all around my lips. No, I don't put any hard line. Like so. And I follow and just under the lip, not too far down. <laughs> so that it still looks natural. And I don't do, you know, as I said, I don't draw e like this. I just kind of feather strokes. And I um, use a pencil on all the on the whole lip. It creates a kind of a base for the lip. Of course, what I use as well is the um, uh, my base, but I'm not using it right now. I wanted to show you exactly the lip. Maybe I should have used it. Never mind. Okay, and now I'm going to use the lipstick. I use the lipstick out of the pencil, not like this, although you can if you want to, but I use a brush. And that's one thing that, you know, it's a bit of a shame with the crayon. They just do the crayon without the brush. So you need an extra brush. So I have the a Dior um, pencil, red pencil, that's on the other side. It is a brush that is really good, actually. So I use the, the brush from my Dior lipstick and what I do is I take a little bit like this. Okay. And I apply it. Because using a brush allows you to, to do a little bit more um, precise work than just apply it like this. And also, it, I find when you apply your lipstick with a brush, it lasts longer, you know, much, much longer. So basically, you follow the contour that you did with your pencil. And the good thing with a brush, as I said, you know, about the perfect, more of a perfect, um, well, not perfect, but more a precise work, you can go a little bit over 
their line, if you think their line on your lip is too narrow, too low, you can go a little bit over. Which is difficult to do when you do, when you use just this, the lipstick is so much larger. Now say, you know, with a brush much smaller and more precise of work. And you check, I guess, if it's, you know, both your lips are symmetrical. And if they don't appear symmetrical, you know, you, you just uh, remedy it with <laughs> your brush because asymmetrical items may be the fashion trend, but I don't think it works with makeup and on your lips. You know, one big lip and one small lip. The Russian red lipstick looks really nice. I like the consistency. It's matte, but it's very easy to apply. Uh, it dries as a matte and it lasts really a long time. I know because, you know, sometimes I do, um, I shoot a long video, I do a, um, a workshop online and then afterwards a live stream and I can be online talking for about two and a half hours and my lipstick still look good after all that. So, and I drink in between. Um, you know, during my, my talk, I have some water and it still looks good. So it's really long lasting. And uh, the other product I wanted to show you is an Abra pencil from Benefit. And this is really nice, actually. It's <laughs> goof proof bra pencil. And on the side here, you can see pictures, it shows you how to use it, you know. And even patchy brows instantly fills and defines the tail. 95% of people said it was easy to fill and shape the brows. And I can tell you it is, because I've been using it. Um, I have got some on, but I use my bra pencil, you know, a little bit, you know, I don't just completely paint. I've still got, you know, these are all my, my eyebrows. Um, I don't completely fill in because again, you know, in a French chic style, we still like the natural look. So even though I've got some, it still looks natural. My eyebrows look natural. So you have a various shades. This one is quite dark because my eyebrows are black. Well, those are not white <laughs> or gray. Um, this one is, what is the color of this one? Crayon sourcil définition et remplissage facile. But I can't see the, the color um, unless you, know, you go by the top one, it says five, color five. On the lid, it says five. So as I said, it's quite a dark one. Uh, let's have a look here on my hands, it might be. Uh, can you see that? So it's it's a dark brown. It's not a black one. The dark brown. And the the brush, by the crayon, is slanted. Can you see? It's not round. Slanted. So okay. it is really actually it's really helpful. And you just what I do is that in a feather, in a feather um, feathering. I just do that basically my eyebrows. I don't do feathering movement. Really light, really light. I hardly put any. Um, you can see today I have not got much lips, much um, makeup. Actually, I've got no foundation, no BB cream, no concealer or anything like this. Just um, a cream from Vichy because I just did a video on Vichy products. I want to show you, and also the beautiful. Vichy Thickening Shampoo and Balm. I absolutely love my hair today. <laughs> I love my hair. Um, and uh, I wanted to show you the lipstick that I just bought now. So it's a very um, natural, no makeup, makeup look that we really like in French chic. So these are the products I bought from Sephora. Also, there's um, the Eau Dynamisante from Clarins. Okay, in a coffret. I put it in front of my face. <laughs> yeah. So let's open the box to show you. So it is the Invigorating Collection. So it's quite a big box. Metal box, Clarins. Um, and 
you've got an odinamizant for 100 mil. And here you've got the odinamizant in a little, um, what do you call this? It's a rechargeable, refurable spray and splash. So let's have a look at the little one. And you've also got the funnel. Okay. So let's open the, that one. Eau de soin, vitalité, fraîcheur, fermeté. Dynamisante. Not used to doing this kind of thing, you can tell. <laughs> so you just pull it and you just spray, basically. So I'm going to... I don't like to um, smell it straight away. I like to wait a little bit. That's really stronger than I thought it was going to be. Eau de soin, vitalité, fraîcheur, fermeté. So treatment fragrance, vitality, freshness, firmness. Um, okay, so I'm going to read a little bit what it says here. The first, this is the first treatment fragrance that combines the fragrant and treatment benefits of plant extract, also known as aromatherapy and phytotherapy. In one step, all dynamizant scents revitalizes and tones, so it tones your skin as well. A naturally fresh, invigorating fragrance. So, the scent here contains essential, aromatic essential oils of citrus fruit, patchouli, Petit grain, rosemary, and white thyme, and that gives a fragrance, freshness, and vitality. So far, I'm not sure if I really like it. To be fair, I oh know this is the the flacon, and this one is 100 ml. That would last you a long time. So I'm waiting. I can smell the thyme. A little bit patchouli. I wish there was more citrus. I really like citrus. I love, because I love the freshness of citrus. You know, like um, tangerine, lemon, orange, grapefruit. I really like that um, orange. I love that. Mm. I can smell the thyme and the patchouli. A little bit of citrus. Um, mm. I'm not sure if it's really, it's not something I'll say, wow, I really love it. You know, like the, um, the Jo Malone uh, was mentioning in my Nostrum video. The Jo Malone products are just amazing. Mm. It's not developing into something I, I enjoy right now. So, but again, you know, it, it depends on, on you and your taste. Um, we are all individual. Somebody may not like something, you know, we'd be loved by somebody else. It depends on your skin as well. Um, you know what I've noticed as well? Something, uh, some scents I used to like when I was younger. Something that really looks to, you know, smell nice on my skin now. If I smell it, oh, Usually, I find it too strong. So, is it maybe as we get older, uh, skin changes? Uh, it does this, uh, of course. And, um, you know, a sense of smell maybe changes. Uh, skin maybe changes. So, it's a mixture of all that. And also, you know, what we used to like when we were younger. It's not something we enjoy now. No. It's not something I like on me, so I don't want to wear it. Um, but please let me know if you already um, like this, if you already wear it, and it may look very nice, very may scent, you know, um, it smell very nice on you. It doesn't smell bad. But it's not something I think, oh, you know, something that smells so good, you just want to smell this all day long. No. It's nice, I think, to do these kind of videos, you know, when I tell you, uh, hand on heart, I like it, or mm, not so much. This, yes. Bon benefit eyebrow pencil is a yes. Okay, so this is this one. Absolutely yes. I like it. Of course, my Russian red from Mac 
definitely yes. Uh, the pencil, you know, yes, it's a, uh, it's a lip pencil. I, I don't think it's a fantastic one. Uh, I wish it had had um, the brush at the end. You know, you use the pencil um, and at the end, you know, a brush to use with a lipstick. So, voila! So, this was my, vid my video for the review of Clarins Eau Dynamisante, uh, the MAC lipstick, the a MAC pencil, and the Benefit Abra pencil. So, I hope you enjoyed it. I will put the links to these products below in this video. Let me know uh, what you think of this product, if you are already using them, or if you are thinking of getting them for yourself. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. And if you enjoyed this video, please share it to your many friends, of course. Au revoir.